Hey, good morning, everybody. I did have everybody on mute, so April, you'll have to unmute yourself again. Sorry about that. I Let's heard see. some. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure can. Hi. Good morning. Good you know, morning. I don't have a microphone. Hopefully, it, my computer audio is good enough. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, you sound loud and clear. Okay. Loud Usually, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. Yes. All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the Peer Education Series with Thrive Live and the Sign in Thrive Notary Course and Community. Uh, we're real excited today to bring you uh, Denton County's number one notary. In <laughs> Thank you. San Miguel. Today we're talking about notary hacks and resources. So um, I'm real excited about today because uh, being resourceful as a mobile notary and low signing agent uh, can be a critical element of your success. And basically what being resourceful means is uh, always finding a way to make stuff happen. And after we interviewed April uh, last month in August for the uh, Profiles in Ink series, uh, it became very clear that she is one of those MacGyver type notaries who always finds a way uh, to make stuff happen, whether it's in marketing, advertising, customer service, client acquisition, and even uh, getting up to uh, number one notary in Denton County in the first year. Yeah. April, thank you, thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule, uh, not only to just share what's going on in your business, but to reach back and pull other new notaries and experienced notaries up with you. So that means a lot. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, and as I had shared earlier on one of your series, and sorry, it's really hard to see myself. <laughs> it's very, very hard. Of course, we see all the imperfections. We're like, oh gosh. You look great. You're right. <laughs> anyway, with that said, um, just a little bit about my story. So it was actually a year ago this month that um, I needed a notary uh, for my mom who wasn't, who wasn't very mobile and we needed the notary to come to her uh, retirement center. And I had a really difficult time finding someone, you know, went through the yellow pages and called all these different folks and nobody ever returned my messages. Finally got a hold of someone and it was like the next day or later on in that, it, it took some time. So, you know, she came over, did the notary for us and I realized, you know what, it took me a while to find someone. Maybe there's a need for mo more mobile notaries. And I had no idea what a mobile notary was, what it did, you know, what you needed to do to get to get your, to be able to do mobile notaries. So um, I did a lot of research. Um, I filed for my commission with the state of Texas. And as we all know, they do a background check. And um, I, I, I can't remember the other things that they do, but you have to like pass through the secretary of state. Mm -hmm. You have to get your um, errors and admission insurance and you have to be bonded. And once you have those things, you can you know start doing notary work. Now with that said, I mean, you have a huge responsibility in front of you. And every time you sign your name to a document, you are a professional and you need to make sure that you know what you're doing. Hence, love Bill, because all of the support that you give, Bill, and, you know, when I have questions, because we're a business of one, we're ourselves. And if the National Notary Association is, you know, it's a Saturday at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. and you have a question, who do you call? So the, I think the most important thing for me and my business, well, there's a lot, but I think first of all, it was finding mentors. So when I decided to do this, I called other notaries. Some were really helpful and said, hey, yeah, I'll give you, you know, every, all the support, everything you need. Some didn't want to share anything with me at all because they felt like maybe I was infringing on their territory. Um, but by finding mentors such as Bill, you know, videos to watch, I've taken all the courses, I've made sure, and I'm always, always continuing education. Um, I'm joining Facebook groups. I mean, because the laws are ever changing. And the last thing you want to do is be in front of a customer and go, uh, I don't know. You know, so I always make sure I stay up to date with that. 
Well, I'm so glad that you brought uh, so many of those points. Yeah, up. I know. There's a million. <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> No, that that's great because you, I mean you touched on so many things. So I kind of want to work our way back a little yeah. bit before we get into the real specifics. But the first thing that you brought up, which uh, believe it or not, is the hardest thing. So when you were trying to find a notary uh, for your mom's situation last year, and you were going down the phone book, you know, just calling notaries, just trying to find somebody who would either answer the phone. If they wouldn't answer the phone, at least return a message. Right. Um, that can be, I mean, it's frustrating from a customer experience, but I want to share with you guys, even, you know, as the owner of a signing company, I experience that same thing every day uh, in trying to find notaries that will answer the phone. And I rarely will leave a message because, you know, life in the signing business sometimes happens too fast and you, you know, you can't wait for a uh, return. Answer that phone. <laughs> That's the thing. And we talk about this a lot in the course, right? You've got to be ready for yes. And this is being ready for yes is being willing to answer the phone or leave some type of voicemail message that indicates that you're still in business and you want business. Right. So that is, would you attribute that willingness to answer your phone now? Is that part of the key to your success? Yes, absolutely. And one of the things that I did when I started my business, obviously I didn't want to use my personal number because I didn't want to get the two mingled together. And starting out a business, here's your budget, right? Exactly. <laughs> you have to be extremely resourceful. And I'll tell you, I haven't paid for anything other than, you know, my insurance, my errors and admission. Um, if you go to Google and you search notary near me, uh, Denton, I'm going to be in that local, it's called the local uh, pack three. Um, anyway, going back to phone, sorry, I got a little <laughs> sidetracked, guys. That, yeah. Um, but I set up my business under Google voice. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love Google voice. There's so many things that I love about it. Uh, number one, you know, I have it set up like this morning. I got a call from, um, from my, uh, notary business. Cause it will say, I don't know if you can see right there or not, but it says like Denton notary to go. Um, so whenever that comes in, I know that's a mobile number. So then what I'll do and like, here's my Google voice. Oh yeah. See, like I have, I missed some calls this morning cause I was getting ready for this um, thing. I can't show people's phone numbers. Um, that's right. It's kind of it, yeah. Anyway. Um, so if I can't answer the phone, then I send them a text message and I've got canned text messages that I always send like, hi, sorry, I missed your call. What type of document do you need notarized? What time and where? And at least we can get that conversation going um, on my Facebook page and on my Google, my business page. I've set it up to where messaging appears. So the customer has the option to either text message me or call me. And I get a lot of text messages that way. And you can set that up on Google Voice. And it's free. Yes. Absolutely free. <laughs> That's what's really amazing about Google Voice. And everybody just assumes that it costs money, especially when you're just starting out. So nope. you can't afford that. But it is with modern technology today and uh, some of these big companies kind of taking over some of those uh, services, uh, a lot of this stuff is available for free. So I'm really glad you brought that up. Now on Google yeah. Voice, um, what you were saying is that every time somebody calls your Google Voice number, it uh -huh. pops up and it shows Denton Notary to go because that's how you've registered your name, your number. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you know that's a business call. Yeah. So guys, this is huge, especially if you're, you know, like me, I won't even, I hate answering the phone these days because it's usually automated sales calls. That's yes. all I get. If yes. it's not business. So I don't even want to pick up the phone, but when you use Google voice, you know, that's a business call. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's really easy to use. And I love that you have systemized your process and you have, um, I, I don't like the word canned, but yeah, you have, you have a script together. Yeah that you can just quickly send out, that's very efficient. So, yes. and I wonder, would you be willing to share uh, your, um, your, your script messages with the group? Yeah, no? yeah, absolutely. Um, like some of the things that I say, um, oh, and Google Keep, well, I can't show, this isn't showing anything. Um, well, let me just do this. This app right here, Google Keep, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I loves me some Google Keep. Um, because like right here for my reviews, I have a canned review that I send to people um, and we'll, we'll discuss that in a minute, but let's see. 
Um, I can't find it right now, but basically I just say, hi, thank you for calling Denton Notary to go. What type of document do you need notarized? And you need to be short and sweet. Yes. They don't want all the fluff and all that. And they always respond and I always get it set up through text message. The other great thing about Google Voice is you also, um, like you can archive the conversations and you can actually go on the, uh, you know, on the desktop version and look at all your correspondence. So it saves it all for you. And I've figured out how to export through Google Takeout all of my calls and messages and input them into a spreadsheet, which is awesome too. So just one more bear, one more backup should you need crucial information should we ever be called into court. So it's just yes. one more thing. That is so that's so huge um, because and you you talked about this in the very beginning about the responsibility that we have as notaries. Yeah. A lot of times it's uh, discounted. You know, it's relatively easy to become a notary. Businesses pay for it. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes it's five bucks, you know, so there's this air about it that it's just not that big a deal, but it is uh, it's yeah. a huge amount of responsibility. And we are transferring wealth and we are transferring life making decisions or life taking decisions sometimes. Yes. This is an absolutely critical role. So the fact that you can, you found a way to back up all of your correspondence. And what's also cool about Google voice, right? Is if somebody leaves you a voicemail, it sends you a script. Yep. Of their yeah. voicemail. So it's a transcript of their voice, yep. of their voicemail. So you have all of that backed up on a, a link that you mm -hmm. can into a spreadsheet. So that's awesome. Huge. Thank you for sharing that. Well, one other thing to add on Google voice. I mean, I barely touched on what it can do. There's a million other things it can do. I mean, I, I cannot say enough about Google voice and all of Google's products and they're free and they have gotten me where I am today. Seriously. I figured it out. <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And now you also mentioned though in this, the Facebook messaging and mm -hmm. Uh, that's another huge feature too. And I don't know, have you uh, done the automated Facebook responses in your messenger yet? So, you know what? I didn't really realize the value of Facebook and I really, my first year, I didn't really get into Facebook that much because I didn't really think like thought to myself, okay, well, I don't go to Facebook to look for a notary. Well, 50 million other people do. <laughs> uh, so to be honest with you, you know, I'm just now deep diving into Facebook. Um, and from what I understand, if you're going to spend money and you want to do ad dollars, it's on Facebook, not Google. Um, because Google, you're fighting with AdWords and other people. Anyway, um, so I really can't talk that much to Facebook just because I don't have enough experience with it just yet as a business. You know, personally, yeah. I can tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, I'll just mention it to our listeners today because, uh, you know, every, every one of us are businesses. Just like you said, we're a sole business owner. We've got to do whatever we can to get our business out there. So having a business Facebook page, which is also free, is critical. But on the messages on there, people, you know, people can communicate and they can message. Just like April's talking about with text message, they can send you a Facebook message. Yeah. What's cool about Facebook messaging now, and it's relatively new, but you can set up an automated response. So imagine somebody sends you a message and it automatically responds with this text that April's just provided us that says, hi, I'm in a appointment right now. What kind of document do you need notarized? And when were you thinking? That mm -hmm. just starts the conversation right there and it's, it's all automated. So you can pop in when you're done with your appointment and know exactly what's going on. Absolutely. And one thing to clarify for the group here is um, I'm, I do quote unquote general notary work. So I don't do any signings or mortgages or things like that. It's the power of attorneys where I'm going to hospitals, meeting customers. So I think from the signing aspect, that's a whole nother ballgame too, which you can, you know, have the two and this and all. <laughs> well, again, I'm, that was perfect timing to bring that up because, you know, a lot of us get into this business thinking about loan signing because we think that's going to be the most lucrative and it certainly is in many markets but yeah you are kind of a, a walking talking testimonial to the fact that we don't have to do just no signings no you focus on general notary work yep yep and 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 two with that said you know a, a lot of notaries I've spoken to they don't necessarily like that because that's scary that's people's money that's people's lives that's people's property you know that you're that you're you know, official documents with, and some people don't want to take that risk. But what I say is, you know, you're never going to know what 
life is going to give you unless you go out there and try to get it right. And you just make yourself as educated as you possibly can. Um, and just believe in yourself, you know, just get out there and get it and do it. <laughs> well, and belief is one of the key factors in any type of success. You got to believe you can do it. If you start anything believing you can't do it, there's no point in even going on. So you have to have some level of belief that you can, but also this is an opportunity to become an expert. You know, if you do yeah. the things that other people don't want to do or are scared to do, you are going to be a success. Yeah. There's a lot of intimidation around general notary work. And that's why you're going to see me talk a lot about it in the coming months. Uh, not only because there's a huge opportunity, but it, it's also, it's the most sustainable part of this business. Absolutely. You know, your business is going to be solid and it's going to move forward because in good times and in bad, people always need a notary. They don't yeah. always need a loan signing agent. You know, if the housing right. market slows down too much, you're going to see a huge lull in that. But your general notary work is always going to keep moving forward. It's going to be there. And to add to that, you know, a lot of baby boomers now are of, you know, of the age to where they're needing powers of attorneys and, uh, you know, um, do not resuscitate. I mean, there, a lot of those documents are coming into play. I'm seeing it more and more like folks my age, it's their parents. Yeah, exactly. And they're... Uh, there's lots of family law attorneys that will not uh, notarize because, you know, they're charging $400 an hour. So 400 bucks an hour for notarization is too much for some people. So they'll refer out to notaries. There's so much opportunity. And I know that so many people, especially in part of the sign and drive course, and I know all the people listening, you're in markets that are hot for retirement. You know, mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Arizona is a huge one, Florida, Texas, uh, Arkansas, all these people who are, moving to these retirement areas they all need these types of services in addition to everyday life you know vehicle title transfers all of that good stuff so yeah and speaking to you know, nursing homes and what have you um i've dropped off my business card uh to every nursing home here in town and i've got a lot like this afternoon i have a couple of calls because they had my card at the desk so i absolutely positively recommend that you do that um drop off your business card and they talk in there too so they'll all be like april came out we called her she was there in an hour and took care of it she was nice and you know took care of us too. Well, I, I want to speak to that too, because yeah. that's in the relationship part. I want to get that. We're going to come to that part because uh, I think that's part of your marketing in the part of yeah. the service level that you offer. Um, I've got a couple of questions here. I wondered if you mind if we uh, answer these real quick before we And move. I promise I'll answer them and not go <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get too excited. I, know. I, I want know. everybody to have fun like I am. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So here we go. Um, Judy asks, is it too late if you have your business already set up to switch to Google Voice? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You. Now, again, now I want everybody to take this with a grain of salt. By no means am I an expert whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm an expert in my own right that I just figured it out. You know, lots of YouTube and what have you. I, I couldn't see where there's a problem um, because if you're, if it's a paid service that you're paying for, and you, well, here's what you can do, because here's what I do with my Google Voice number. I actually transfer the number to my own personal phone number, mm -hmm. and that's where it comes in where it says Denton Notary to go. So let me, let me uh, roll back here. So when I set this up, I set up my own number, which is, you know, here's my card right here. I designed these myself. <laughs> uh, my, the 940-268-5062. So that was a number that I picked in Google Voice, right? So I have that number and then I have, you know, my personal number in here. So when I set up my Google Voice, I set up to where this number will forward to my phone. Um, because you can have it ring independently on Google Voice or you can have it ring on your phone if you forward. I do the forward so that when it comes in, it says the Denton Notary to go. So that, in fact, I know it's a Denton Notary to go number and not the two different lines. Yeah. And so, and also, Judy, so you'll have some challenges by switching because you may have already had print, uh, business cards printed with your old phone number or your cell phone number you know, you have it on your website. So it's never too late to add Google Voice. Uh, you just might have to make some adjustments as you go. Yeah, just tweak it here and there, especially yeah. that you can forward your phone number and all that good stuff too. <clears throat> exactly. And it, it's in the beginning, guys, we know that the phones aren't, you know, you're not taking 300 calls a day. So it's not like you're a major corporation who's switching your phone number. Yeah, exactly. It's if not like I have a time calls. to do it. It's at the very beginning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Um, all right, so Judy also asked, do you prepare the power of attorney or refer them to a lawyer to prepare and then you notarize? Oh, they come to me with it. I, you know, as we know, we're not attorneys. I get asked all the time, what do I put here? I'm like, I'm sorry. My role as a notary public is to verify you are who you are through your, identif uh, through your identification that has been approved through the notary association. And I witness you signing the document. I sign it and stamp it. That's all I'm about today. I don't, you know, and that there's no blanks in the document. So 110%, it's got to be filled out when they come to you. Because if it's not, they're going to start asking you all these questions. Well, what do I put here? What do I put there? And let me tell you, a lot of people print off on the internet power of attorneys, and those are a hot mess sometimes. Let me tell you. <laughs> they are, and there, there's so many different variations of them. That's why uh, giving a training on them is a challenge for a lot of people. Oh, it is. There could be hundreds of different versions of hundreds. them. Hundreds. Yeah. I know I've called you a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, so the... The, an the answer is, uh, unless you are a certified legal document preparer in your state, you should never have anything to do with the preparation or filling out or offering advice on the documents. So Judy, short answer is everything should be filled out. Uh, ex Except them signing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you're witnessing the signatures. Uh, oh, and one other note to that, the date. The date has to be the date that you're signing the document. So... Typically, I tell them to leave the bl date blank, especially if I've talked to him a couple of days before. Yeah. Just, I'm sure we all know that, but FYI. Yeah. That's, well, sometimes it doesn't always go without saying, but sometimes if you're telling people to have the document filled out, they'll go ahead and do the dates, but you don't want that in it either. Signature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes, answer was to the markets that are open. Okay, oh, sure. is there a question? Thing? Oh, I see right here. Okay. All right. So when a kid turns 18 in most states, they're an adult. They need a power of attorney for events that will happen from Rex to college. Parents should be sure they have one from their child. Okay. That's just some advice there. Well, and that's a great, that advice right there is great to advertise on your website. Say, hey, did you know? Put that out there. I can notarize it for you. Here's my number. I'll come to you. <laughs> that really gets into the content marketing too, which I'm hoping that we can talk a little bit about as well, because that's going to tie into the search engine optimization and everything like that, guys. I got that down too. <laughs> we can have about 20 calls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We do. Um, all right. I'm going to skip that one right now, though. We're going to do content marketing. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. Have you ever had a situation where a client did not have the capacity to sign? That's yes. what I'm asked. Have you yep, ever? I had it one time and I told I talk, uh, talked to Bill about it. So I got to, um, I don't know how, I just didn't feel comfortable with the situation. The yeah. person met me downstairs in the lobby at the hospital, said, blah, 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 blah. And I told her, I said, wait, 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 wait. If I go up there and I don't feel like the person signing the document is not 150 million percent understanding what they're signing, I absolutely will not do that. I got up there, it just, it was the EBGBs, and I said, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to call another notary. It's just, I'm not gonna risk. It's just not a situation that I'm comfortable with. Um, and it's my commission and it's my livelihood. So at this time, I'm gonna have to decline, um, you know, um, your request for my services today. I think that speaks um, powerfully to your ability to assert yourself and take responsibility for your, your business and your instincts. Uh, sometimes the situation just doesn't feel right and you think there might be something fishy going on you can trust your gut on that in most cases and do it all the time I'm telling you and if I didn't do that I wouldn't have been able to sleep I would have been constantly worried about that thinking every time my phone rang or something you know so if your intuition is telling you no just go for it it's not worth how it's not worth the hundred or fifty or however many dollars don't do it and the 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 flip side of that is how much opportunity there is to be an expert in your state on this guys a lot of people don't understand they understand a little bit about what they can do mm -hmm. they don't understand what they can't do and when you understand all of that together you really become an expert in your state not only for your clients but for your fellow notaries too so there's lots of opportunity here yeah absolutely all right um hi bill this is landis when you decided to start your business were you already employed if so how did you transition out uh, Landis, great question. For me, uh, I was in a little bit of a different situation. I'd always been a serial entrepreneur. I had, I think, six businesses going on at the same time. I was, you know, I was 
ooh, something shiny, ooh, something shiny. I always, I just had an idea. I'd write it on a napkin, usually after a vodka, and then I'll screw it. <laughs> you know? uh, it was not sustainable. It did not work. Um, the businesses, I couldn't focus on them enough to make any money, so I had to make some money. A friend of mine said, hey, you should become a signing agent. I said, okay, something shiny. And I did it, and I, it worked from month one. You know, I made $3,500 my first month. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then I continued to make more. I had no idea that the NNA existed. I never got trained. I burned bridges. I knocked on doors that I shouldn't have knocked on. Uh, I made lots of mistakes, and I, dis I didn't respect this business for what it was. I treated it like an ATM machine. If I needed five thousand dollars, I went and I made five thousand dollars, and then I came and I spent that on my businesses that just floundered. <laughs> I'd come back and I'd make seven thousand dollars and go back, and it didn't work. And it wasn't until I just focused all of my energy on this business, just using basic business techniques that we talk a lot about in our course, and staying consistent, that everything really changed in this business for me. Um, Jim says, is the Google Voice number a different phone number than your business phone number? Slightly confused. So Jim, to answer, so yes, you register and Google gives you your own separate phone number uh, for free. And you can tell that phone where to ring. It can ring on your computer or you can forward it to your cell phone. And that's what April's talking about when it no, rings to show your you. cell phone. And we can't see your screen, unfortunately. Oh, you can't? Oh, okay. It glares okay. out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. So what it does is it rings to your cell phone and it, because she registered her business as Denton Notary to go, that's what pops up. So she knows that's a business call coming through. So it's two different numbers, but because it's one number that clients would call that would forward to your cell phone number. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, and I can, I can do an offshoot too. And there's like, um, and what we, what we can do, you know, after the call is I'll put to kind of uh, together like a little document maybe with some links and stuff of, of people that I have found. YouTube has been my friend. Let me tell you, <laughs> there's a lot out there, but, um, it's great. Um, and Bill's courses too, for sure. And net, uh, um, networking with your local notaries and I also recommend to join Facebook groups of notaries that are in your area oh my gosh tons of information on those and they have files just like Bill has um, you know and you want to kind of limit yourself to maybe like three of them when I started I was like oh I did 20 of them <laughs> it was too much <laughs> it, it can be a little overwhelming and I, I would add another caveat to that too is find your people you know, find the people that are going to lift you up and not tear you and your business down because there are some negative Nancy's in our industry and you, they will demolish your enthusiasm if you, if you hang around it too much. Get in a group that's going to uplift you. They're going to support each other. They're not worried about losing business. They want everybody to succeed. Those are the groups you want to be a part of. And, and, and to, to, to attest to that, a couple of them, they, they're like, what is April all about? She's all blah, blah. But, you know, this is me. I'm genuine. I'm real. This is what I'm all about. And absolutely make sure that you get a group that uplifts you because uh, there's a lot of notaries that have been doing this for a really long time. An ambitious April, they're not so fond of, you know, <laughs> because they're right. scared, you know, and they're thinking all oh, these millennials and this and that. So just, you know, find, find your you, find your group. Yes, absolutely. And so, okay, um, let's see. This, yes, there will be a replay, guys. We'll post it just like we post everything else on YouTube. Uh, plus, I'll send out an email link so you guys will have easy access to that. And how do you handle requests for documents with no notary, notary certificates? Is this a case of a character reference? I'm not sure what you mean there, Landis, but if there is a document like a handwritten letter that you're notarizing, it is your responsibility as a notary in most states to add an acknowledgement or a jurat, and you usually cannot make the decision as to which one the signer they has to choose. <laughs> uh, so you'll have to have that on there. Now, I want to, we have to move on. It's already 8.30, guys, I can't believe it. And we haven't even really got into the hacks yet. So we really want to get in there. Uh, and I'll try to come back to some of these questions, guys. So April. Sorry. <laughs> no, this is awesome. We're having a great, a great dialogue here, and this is wonderful. Um, but I really want to get some specifics on um, what you do. And because I'm a, I'm a little concerned that we'll run out of time, let's dive in. Can we talk about the reviews? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 
um, you know, I, I set up my business through Google My Business. If you don't have a Google My Business account, 110% you need that. The reason why you need that is where do pe most people go, go to find a notary? They go to Google, right? Or they go to Google Maps because they think they can drive to us. So I'm in the top three on Google, um, Google Search and Google Maps. And the reason uh, I am is for all the different things that I've done. So number one, um, I think, and again, I'm no expert. This is just based on my opinion. Yeah. You absolutely have to have reviews. I have, I think I have like 41 reviews now. Every single one of them are positive. And every single one of them, you can tell that they were written from the heart. Like, you know, they really, and a couple of them have even said like, I never write reviews, but I wanted to write a review for you. And that lends to that, um, it's all about customer service too. You know, you've got to give them good customer service. You think I'm just signing a document, but you're doing more than that. Anyway, with that more said, um, on the reviews, I have a canned, um, hold on, I'm getting a call, um, a canned response that I send and I'll read it here just in a second. So I make sure that I have Google reviews, um, reviews on Google, Yelp. Yelp is a whole nother story. Do not pay for any Yelp services. Mm, no, no, no based on my opinion. And then uh, Facebook reviews. So Yelp, I have like five or six and Facebook, uh, uh, a few of them or whatever. Google is the main one. So after I have my appointment with my customers, I say in my Google uh, notes, I have a canned response that mine, I can't see it, but pinned at the top. And I say, thank you for choosing Denton Notary to go uh, today. Google and Facebook and Yelp reviews really, and I put in capital letters, help my small business grow. If you are happy, and then I put in parentheses or not, <laughs> uh, with my services today and would like to write a review, kick, uh, click below. And I include links to all three of those sources. Um, sometimes I'll just send them, you know, that with just Google, that with just Facebook. Mm -hmm. I like to give them choices because um, some of them may not be on Google. Some of them may not be comfortable writing a review on Google, but are on Facebook, you know, so I just give them some options. And then I preface it, you know, like after I send that text message, please don't feel obligated to review on all three. I just wanted to give you choices. And nine times out of 10, I get a review every time. And if they haven't written a review, like a day or two days later, I'll just resend that note and then they write it again. So um, that's how I do that. And that's then, huge. I love yeah. that. So number one, I make a lot of buying decisions. Oh, almost every buying decision I make based on reviews. Yes. So that is a big deal and I can really appreciate uh, that you're doing this. And the fact that you're getting so many people to respond means a couple of things. Number one, that you've given them service that they want to talk about, but also that you're making it easy for them. Because how many times have we, you probably said, oh, I should review this place. It was really good. And then it's just forget five about minutes it. later, something shiny and we forget about it. So the fact that you send them something that makes it so easy is a, a huge clue to me that uh, that this is work, working really well. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, well, and also just to uh, elaborate on that, Google encourages their, um, their businesses to ask for reviews. They have this amazing, and I know we can't see, but I just have to show it anyway real quick. Um, they have uh, what's called small thanks where you can make graphics of your reviews which are freaking amazing. And they're so easy to make. Um, if you go on my Denton Notary to go Facebook page, you'll see one of the graphics I made right there. Um, but like, here's all the graphics that it makes. And it's, it's just from, um, from, um, so from some of your five star quotes and you can publish that to your page or so you can do that canned message or you can just send them this and it's a, it gives you a link for them to write a review. I mean, they make it so easy. Whereas Yelp, they don't encourage you to ask for reviews at all. They want it to be organic and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'll have to say at almost the two things I get told when people call me is, oh my gosh, you had the best reviews. Well, I should say three. Because you know what? If you look at the other notaries in your area, none of them have reviews. They might have one, two, three, four. They've really never tapped into that. Of course, I'm scared to tell all y'all that. <laughs> don't be doing it in Texas, Dallas area. I need to stay up on the top. <laughs> um, but they always say, you know, your reviews were great. I had to call you. I didn't look anywhere else. Um, and then the other thing, wow, that's such a great idea. I didn't know there was a thing for mobile notaries. I'm like, Don't you tap in on my business. <laughs> um, and then, oh, you answered your phone. 
Yeah, huge, right? Something so simple. Answering the phone is a, a number one huge key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw a note. I'm in Houston now. I, you know what? I'm all about some people would never do this and share their thoughts. I'm all about making all of us successful and putting the good, you know, putting it out there that we're good people and we do good and people will think about us more rather than going to UPS or the bank. They're going to come to us because we give them great customer service. Well, that's such a great point too, because that's thinking from abundance, guys. This is, there is so much business out there. There are millions of people getting notarizations every day. Some of them that don't even know that mobile notaries exist. They don't even know that's an option. So we have that educational piece that you guys can help with in your individual businesses by being of service, by providing value and content that makes you easier to find and makes the service in the industry easier to find. All of that will make a difference. And United, we can really make a huge Put that difference. word out there. Because like I said, most of them say, I didn't know there was such a thing as a mobile notary. And you know, and from time to time, you know, I, I give, I don't charge my fee. Just, pay, you know, I could, for whatever situation. And you know, sometimes I feel really bad because I know they can go to a bank and get it done for free. Or, you know, sometimes, sometimes not. Um, and one cu customer told me, um, you know, this is your business, April. I need you to stay in business because you made it so convenient for me that you came to my home. You were in the privacy of my home. My mom's a very private person. She doesn't want to go to a bank and have everybody hear her business. You know, so the more we can get out there, mobile notaries are available. Yeah, it may cost you a little bit, but it's just going to give you a sense of mind. Um, a good customer service experience. I mean, I'm willing to pay if I have great customer service and I feel good about what it was that I needed done and it was something very important. Well, then, and that's the key too, is you focus on the customers that value your service and your, and your um, uh, what it is that you do for them. You know, obviously we don't, we don't want to focus on the people who don't see value in us. Focus yeah. on the people who do. There are people who value their time. And they understand that you coming to them is worth every single penny. Those yes. are advanced. Those are, that's next level customers right there. That's the right. people you want to focus on. But then, like you said, you know, uh, banks are no longer really offering these. In fact, there's directives from boards of banks to stop doing notarizations because they don't offer any training and they have all the liability. So yeah. almost every teller in a bank is a notary, but when you walk in and ask for a notary, they tell you there's nobody there because they are terrified to do a notarization and maybe lose their job or cost the bank money. Yeah. All of that, that stuff's kind of phasing out. So there's, a, like I said, a lot of opportunity here. And you relationships with bankers. I get calls from my Wells Fargo, I bought bank at Wells Fargo for my business and the merchant teller refers people to me all the time for notarizations. Yeah, There's yeah. Of opportunity there. Now I got yeah, a couple of good questions. Offices you can market to and like oh adoption gosh. agencies. Um, they liked me so much they hired me again and I drove two hours to go do an adoption thing for them or what have you. I charged them. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. And that brings us to a great question here that uh, Landis asked is how large is your travel radius? Sure, so I basically, you know, I, it, nine times out of 10, and I think it's the way I'm set up in Google, the calls are in Denton, right where I am. You know, I will, you know, I have like a base, um, scale, and that's always a hard thing too. Do you advertise your prices or do you not? Obviously you have to advertise somewhat, you know, starting at, um, because sometimes people just see that and move on. You want them to call you and talk to you to see what you provide, your value. So putting out there right out of the gate how much you charge doesn't really, it doesn't give you an opportunity to show what you can do, you know. I'm really glad you brought that up because there's so many of us that we make it about the money so much because, you know, we think everybody just wants to know what the fee is. The fee is important, of course, but the connection and the value that you bring is really what it's about. So people say it's about money, but what they want to know is that somebody cares or understands what's going on and can help guide them. And if all you do is you focus is price, 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 then you lose that ability to get the connection. So if you can get that phone to ring, if you can ask the right questions, if you can show some personality, show mm -hmm. that you know what's going on, you can really, but then it suddenly becomes not about the money. And I, I have exactly. experience with that. Right. So, you know, in Arizona, we used to charge $2 per notarization. We just got a raise in March to $10, but <laughs> it was $2, you know, I would ask questions. I'd find out what's going on. Why is grandpa in, you know, in the hospital, you know, 
you get the story and suddenly you're part of the family and yeah. you know, it, you might quote them $60 and then I get there and I'm like, I can't charge this guy 60 bucks. You know, I want to do it for free because now I'm part of the family, but <laughs> they, end up, they end up tipping you. Like sometimes it's a hundred dollars. They give, Oh, I've got, yeah. They this, is, uh, yeah, this is one of those things we don't talk about very much, but there's usually families that value your services. They're all what they want to end up overpaying you sometimes. They do, yeah, and that that's really nice too. Um, sorry, Bill, that I keep distracting from from the question at hand. <laughs> but it's just like I get so excited. There's just guys. There's so many opportunities out there, and there's mm -hmm. so many ways to grow your business and don't pay for anything other than training courses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and we can talk about that a little bit too because you've taken all of the what the three main ones, the four main ones. Who the what? The four main training courses that, or how many training courses have you taken? I guess I should ask. Oh, yours, or um, well, how many have you taken? Oh, all of them. So, is it, uh, Notary to Pro, Sign and Thrive, Loan Signing System? Oh, oh, um, I'm, I, I guess I'm confused as to what you're asking. I'm oh, sorry. How, you're, how, you're... how many training programs have you taken? Oh. Hundred. <laughs> oh, all right. So you're you're one of those course nerds. I love it. Yes. Yeah. No, I take it all because I I want to know. I don't want to be. I mean, we've got some serious documents. You know, we're risking. You, yeah, we got insurance, and yeah, we're bonded. But I mean, it's a real deal. Like I, I like how you phrased it, Bill. We're you know, people's lives, their money, their livelihood. So yeah, I I mean, I make sure. Yeah, all of them. Awesome. Continuing education is absolutely critical. All right, so let's get back. So we talked about your Google reviews. That's a huge component. We know that you answer your phone, which is sadly enough, probably the biggest uh, uh -huh. reason for success. But what else? What else do we have there? Or answer your phone or send them to, uh, a text too. Um, and also with the Google uh, reviews or reviews on any platform, make sure that you answer them too. You just say, you know, like some of um, my canned responses, I can just tell you real quick. Let me find one. I won't put my phone up. Um, like I just got one. Uh, where are they? Hold on. Um, and um, Google My Business, like I said, is amazing. And the, uh, oh, the other thing you should do all the time, because this gets you in the ranking as far as Google, is posting pictures. And you think to yourself, okay, well, I'm a notary. What am I going to post a picture of, right? Well, if you go to my website here lately, I've, I've realized I should start doing this. I have customers. I'm like, if you're okay with this, would you mind taking a picture of me? You know, I'll cover up all your personal information. And I literally did a notary the other day by the pool, you know? And so I had, I, they were staying at a hotel and we met outside by the pool. And so I, I was like, do you mind, can you take a picture of me doing this? You know, I have another customer that I think he finds things to hire me to come do notaries for him but you know i had a picture with him and i and you know he's in, uh, not very mobile so it kind of it tells the story of what you do you know um and just put out there hey did you have a power of, you know like the um the note we had earlier where he said he was asking something and i said that's a good way to market oh the power of attorney or something like that mm -hmm. so always post pictures that the reviews pictures gets you up there too um, that's such a that's really good advice that we don't always think about guys because we don't we don't always it's every day for us so we're like uh oh, it's, it's just that's what i do you know i love what i do but we don't think to take pictures of it but on social media that's what people respond to and uh, as april just said that's what google responds to as well so when you post a picture on your website and if you tag it correctly, uh, that can give you a search engine optimization points that really helps get your website up. Yeah, huge. And and what's even more so now, and you know, of course, I'm always like this and look at is, is videos. It's really hard and I, I got to get comfortable with it. But absolutely, you need to start making videos because people want, people want images or they want videos more than images. And sound doesn't really matter in videos because most people when they scroll through scroll through they have their sound turned off because they're somewhere in a place where they don't want the sound to come out so don't really focus too much on what you're saying make it more visual but make it a video is yeah. what i've learned does that make sense yeah totally and well because people are looking for they're not just looking for facts they're not looking for figures they're looking for people they can connect with they're looking for the likability factor. They want to know that you know what you're talking about and that you're somebody that they're going to respond to. It's really powerful stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. And the, and the picture, like I said, the pictures too of like me sitting by the pool or 
um, you know, at a person's house, they actually like had dinner because they needed witnesses to come over and they're all, I really want to have dinner with us, you know, and just, just so that they see that image and they think to themselves, oh, okay, April can come to my house. It just, it just makes it flow more. Yeah. Um, and like I took a picture the other day where I, where I held up my business card and I had the tow yard sign behind me, kind of, you know, so just kind of get creative with that, but absolutely positively pictures for sure. Yeah, your business matters, your story matters to people. And that's really what this says. And if you have a, like a doubt about that, think about the real estate agents and the loan officers that always take pictures of their customers during closings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get included in that, sometimes you don't. But it's very common practice and it, it makes a difference. That's why people do it. Oh, and here's one thing that I thought of too. Like when you're, if you don't already have a name for your business or you're trying to figure out a name, here's a point. So what do we, what do I always do, Bill? I and mean, then you get text messages from me and you're like, what was she saying? <laughs> He's always like, oh God, it's April message. <laughs> uh, but I do voice to text all the time, right? So you want to make sure that when you say, hey Siri, uh, find Denton Notary to go. Oh, that's fine, doing it right now. That it, well, for instance, um, there's a brand called Flesh. It's Flesh Makeup. So I say, you know, hey, uh, hey Siri, find uh, Flesh Highlighter. It always does flash. So you want to make sure what name you choose, it is recognizable through voice recognition because a lot of things are going to that now. So if you say, if you have your name, Abracadabra, all exam, or it, what, how, is Sue, how is Siri going to hear that and what is it going to lead you to? So make sure you have that. And in your post too, that your words are searchable via voice. Does that make sense? Can I sense there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, I, well definitely. The uh, voice to text is huge, but we don't always think about like what might, where, what words sound like when they're coming out. So that's a really good point that a lot of people don't consider. Yeah, because you'll miss the mark on that because if Siri doesn't find it that way, they're moving on. I mean, we're, we're a two second society. Yeah, and they're going to bring up uh, alternate results. So your competition will end up getting more traffic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a million more. I know we're running out of time. Um, I just, I, I really, really recommend Google Voice, Google My Business, getting reviews, and posting pictures. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you do those four things, you cannot, again, this is just from my, my um, vantage point, you can't lose. I mean, you are going to win. I absolutely nine to win, and it's all free which is awesome too. It is oh, free. and networking, your business cards and dropping them off too. Well, and then the, the answering the phone part, and I know we're really driving that home, but um, it's huge. Try, try like even the, at the very beginning, April said she called around to notaries. If you ever did that just to try to connect with people and to network, you'll see what I mean. You'll call, and sometimes even on signingagent.com, I'll get through 20 with nobody answering the phone. That's, mm -hmm. how, that's the opportunity that we're talking about here. Um, so let's talk, let's, um, Oh, Bill, yeah. real quick. When you say to mm -hmm. answering your phone and what have you, mm -hmm. um, that's absolutely positively why you need to make sure that when a call is coming in, you know, it's for your notary business. So I know every time that comes in. So when I respond text, um, I mean, I know because I'm not going to, if it's not a notary, I'm running the risk. If I just blanket send a text, not knowing if it's a notary customer or not. So that's another reason why you want to do that. Yeah, the Google Voice makes a big difference in that. All right, let's talk about niche markets real quick because you, your only general notary work, what are you specifically um, marketing to? I know you mentioned attorneys earlier, but what else are we looking at? Yeah, tow yards. Tow yards. <laughs> In Texas, that's huge, right? In yeah, so tow yards are my thing. So with tow yards, um, uh, I live in a town where there's a lot of students, and when it says no parking in your car, you know, that little sign, and it says your car will be towed, it will be towed. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and actually, it was really slow this summer because they, you know, the, there weren't a lot of students here. So I have gone around to all the local tow yards and dropped off my business cards. Now, mind you, when the cars get towed and people need to get them out of the tow yards, it's typically at 2 a.m. So you've got to want to answer your phone at 2 a.m. And, and be ready for that call. But they will come in and you can make some decent money doing that. And it takes like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. And that's, again, doing things that other people don't want to do. That's how you're going to be a success at this. 
Yeah. yeah. And then um, nursing homes, I've gotten a ton of uh, repeat business from nursing homes. Um, and now, you know, like I said, I haven't deep dived into Facebook, but I'm doing that more so um, by posting on Facebook too. Um, attorneys, banks. Oh, that's right there. Did I miss you? Oh, something yeah. happened. Um, banks. I mean, just all local businesses too. Um, I even have gone to like the FedEx place. They're not supposed to, but they kept my business card because people mm -hmm. go there. Uh, we have post nets here in Texas and they um, have notaries there. Um, and really, I mean, I've done that. Mar I haven't really done that much guerrilla marketing. All of the business I have gotten, I, it's from Google My Business. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Oh, and when I started networking with other notaries early on, there was one that I became really good friends with. They're in Dallas. He sends me lots of leads and asks for nothing in return. So that's good. You and you want to make sure you have that too, because if you can't answer your phone. I've got several people that, and they know, I'll take a screenshot of the person calling and I'll just send it to them and, you know, hey, if you can take this, do it. So you need to have a backup system too, um, because it also will show in Google um, if you don't answer your phone. Like it will say typically responds in five hours or two. You don't want that. And right now it's saying I typically respond within hours. Mama don't like that because that's not right. <laughs> that's so make sure I have a backup system for someone to contact them. That's huge. And I'm glad you brought that up too. And we've been talking about that guys since the very beginning, the importance of a team and never forget that just already by yourself, you are a signing company. You are a mobile notary company. You're not just a mobile notary. You, mm -hmm. You're going to need support. You can't be in two places at the same time. You can't take every call, take every appointment. It's just not possible. So no. you want to find people that you can connect with. And that's what these communities like Sign and Thrive is all about. You got the Notary to Pro. I know the loan signing systems have their own Facebook community. You mm -hmm. want to find people that you connect with, that you can yeah. relate to, and that you know you have 100% confidence that yeah. they're going to uh, represent you professionally. And Absolutely. Build, build each other up. Build each other's business. There is plenty out there. Help each other out. You know, one in Dallas, one in Houston. You know, when you get those signs or what, all those little towns in between. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and if they're not nice and they don't want to give you, move on. There's someone else. <laughs> exactly. There's always, and usually the most, um, the abundant thinking ones, the ones that are thriving are the ones who are too busy working. They're not the ones that are in the, uh, the groups all the yeah. time. They're not yeah, yeah, yeah. Working. They're hustling. They're not there doing it. You got to, that's a good when point. Your, when your paths cross, hang on to them. Yes. Yeah. That's a, that's a really good point too. Uh, and then I also want to talk a little bit about your, what you said with FedEx, uh, FedEx, UPS stores, um, banks, managers, all of those places that traditionally people think have notaries. And a lot of times mm -hmm. you still bring a lot of value to that relationship. Mm -hmm. If you're mobile, you can right. do things that others cannot. So there is always the chance of referrals there. In fact, FedEx, uh, the company, um, for the most part, has stopped notarizations. Like there's a few locations that will stop. I don't think they do. And, and to give a caveat on that, I mean, a lot, all three of those places you mentioned, Bill, that, you know, they, they might have rules where they can't take your referral. You know, they can't give you referrals or you can't leave their business card. So it's just a case by case basis. And my, my thought process is you'll never know until you try. So go out there and try it. You know, and if they say no, they say no, and you move on. Um, and, you know, you might get a lot of no's, but if you get one yes, that's one yes more than you had. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Exactly. And the thing is that there's not this us and them thing. Those, the people who work those jobs, they're passionate about what they do on some level, too. So they want to yeah. help their customers. So, again, yeah. it's just relationships. So they, even though the company says you shouldn't, we don't want that because we don't want them to think FedEx is responsible. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to get guys that, you know, you've got this – you know, little old lady who just needs a notarization and they want to help, help her. her. Yeah. So yeah. They, they're going to give you the card, you know, they're, they're customer service driven too. So those are yeah. the relationships you want to build. And yeah. I mean, guys, I say it all the time, but one relationship, one referral connection can change everything in your business. Oh my God. Absolutely. Just by me uh, networking with the one notary I found in, in Dallas. I mean, that's been huge. I've gotten so much business from him and another guy too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, and also if you look, 
like the notaries that are around your area, if they have reviews, read their, get to know what your quote unquote competition is around you where, I mean, that will tell you a lot about what you can do. It's hard for me to explain that, but maybe yeah. if you go and you look, you'll kind of get where I've got. It's hard to explain. <laughs> no, that's, that's, kind of, that's market analysis. You know, you're getting in, you're checking out what your competition is doing, what services are they providing, what fees are they charging, mm -hmm. what tone are they setting. I can tell yeah. you guys, I mean, I go through hundreds of notary websites and they're, they're pretty cold. Here's the document. Here's my feed. You know, they don't let the personality in. Yeah. You let the personality in. That's when things start to change. You start posting pictures. You start adding value added content. And um, that's one thing that we were going to talk about too is, you know, writing blog posts that your customers are searching for. They don't understand all this stuff. They don't. A medical directive and the power of attorney because somebody in their life has come to the end. Yeah. They're stressed out. They're sad. They're emotional. Nobody at the hospitals can help them and won't help them. They don't understand what's going on. They can't afford an attorney. So mm -hmm. just you typing an article about what a notary can and cannot do on some of this documents that just helps delineate what needs to happen. Maybe they do need an attorney. Maybe they need a, uh, some type of uh, assistance that way that just shows something that you know what you're talking about and you show a little bit of heart in it. And yeah. More about just the document and the fee. It goes a long way. That's added yeah. value to the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I mean, I've always been in sales and I've always sold like products and not necessarily services. And I'm telling you service industry is where it's at for me from this point going forward. Cause, um, you really can make a difference, but honestly, guys, like I said, you want them to call you so they can hear you and talk to you. The, everybody falls in love with me. I mean, how could you not? But you know what I mean? You feel like you're, uh, you're, you're connecting with someone. And, and like Bill said, at once they've connected to you, that price doesn't really matter anymore. You know, it's like, Oh, they're going to, they're going to take care of me. Even though that's the first thing they ask, like, what is your price? You go around that, then go to the price. You tell them what you can do. Don't right off the bat blurt that. Cause that's what they want. You want to sell yourself a little bit. <clears throat> and that's that's so true guys and I think you know one of the what's draws me to my business is not how much money I can make it's not the lifestyle I get to live although that's awesome and huge right but the people if the people were not awesome in this business if I didn't have the stories and the connections that I get every single day in it I wouldn't be in it and I think that gets conveyed in my YouTube messages I think that gets oh, conveyed yeah. in my business and I think that's why you are attracted to this I think that's why you're sitting in on this webinar on a Saturday morning because there's something more. There's a way that you want to give back in the in this in general notary work in particular, but also of course on the signing side, you are a part of people's lives sometimes at the best time of their life and sometimes at the worst time of their life. And they yeah. have stories to share and it really is beautiful and amazing. It almost yeah, like you're almost making me cry because it's like it really I mean I I've just gotten so much more out of this like it's my pleasure. Um, to be able to share with all of you guys today, like what, what worked for me and just that feeling is just, it's absolutely incredible. It's incredible. And I feel like sometimes I, you know, I can help change people's lives and it's just, there's no better feeling. Sorry. Uh, yeah. You're going to make me cry. Damn it. I'm Saturday sorry, but it's just, I never expected all of this out of this. And I, I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. It's just, it's amazing. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, it is amazing. The fact that you're willing to share so much of yourself and your business and your strategies with us means a lot. And we will, guys, we will uh, send out an email with a lot of the stuff that we've talked about. Um, April, I'll work with April in developing that email with some of the links that we're talking about. And we'll give you, I know uh, April had a whole list of stuff to talk about. So if we missed anything, I'll include that in the follow-up email as well. The other thing I really want to just to let you guys know, guys, is the whole theme of this that keeps popping up even with April and across the board if you plan on building a sustainable business with this especially with general memory work your digital web presence is absolutely critical so starting in November you're going to see some uh, services coming out with me where we're going to actually go through and build a search engine optimized website where we're going to talk about the Google my business we're going to integrate all of that and I'm going to build my own site yeah uh, Tyler uh, at Green Monkey Marketing had one for me two years ago. He had my phone ringing off the hook so much, but at two bucks a signature, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on the loan signs. Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly right. <laughs> we're going to rebuild it because guys, that's, that's where this thing's going. That's where the future is. It is the most sustainable part. So if you want to be a part of that, uh, reach out to me or just keep your eye on the emails because we'll, of course, communicate all of that out via YouTube and email. But April, again, I just want to say uh, that I really appreciate you You're spending welcome. Saturday morning with us. Guys, welcome and thank you so much for spending your Saturday morning working on yourself and your business. I hope this has inspired you and given you some ideas. To me too. <laughs> April, you're great. Thank you so much. And congratulations again on getting no. <laughs> notary. Uh, number Sorry one. I cried. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for everything you do and answering your phone. And guys, answer your phone. But thank you, guys. It's absolutely my pleasure. And April, never apologize for having that much heart in your business because I think that is the key to everything. Thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>